Hi guys, hope you are doing well. This is Shubhru here. Welcome to my channel, Tech Interview Guider. So in this video today, I'm talking about another interview experience video. This time company name is Samsung. So please stay tuned on this video. And don't forget to like our channel, share our channel, subscribe our channel. Thank you. So we all know about Samsung. Samsung is a renowned product based company whose headquarters in Seoul. So you often use Samsung mobile phone, PC, tablet, and many other things. So Samsung is a renowned product based company. In India, they have the two offices, one in Bangalore and another one in Gurgaon. Those two are like R&D development center. So it's a really good product based company whose office in India. Apart from that, they are like work culture, work life balance, salary structure. Those things are really good. Tech stack is also pretty good, I will say. There you can work with C++, Java, Python, .NET, all kind of languages are available, all kind of tech stack will available. So it depends on which team you are working. First of all, thank you Himangshu coming to my YouTube channel. So Himangshu recently got an offer from Samsung as a HD1 developer. First of all, congratulations for that Himangshu. Thank you so much. Yeah, Himangshu, could you introduce yourself? Sure. Uh, so myself, Himanshu Agrawal. Uh, I recently completed my graduation from Government College of Engineering, Amravati, in the branch of Computer Science and Engineering. And also I completed my uh, internship with uh, Fresh Gravity in the domain of Data Engineering. And it was a six month in internship. And also I got offer recently from Samsung Bangalore uh, as a developer there. So yes, this is my introduction. That's great. So Himanshu, as you are like as you are graduating this year so is this samsung offer like it's an on-campus offer or it's an off-campus offer for you it was a off-campus opportunity i got this opportunity through linkedin i got i saw a message from an employee that the samsung is hiring and there was a link uh, so i applied from there and got got it from an off-campus offer okay okay for you it's off-campus opportunity yes okay thanks for this information so Himanshu, can you tell a bit about the technical rounds in the Samsung? Yeah, sure. The whole process consists of four rounds, basically. First two were uh, the online test and after two, uh, the remaining two were the interview process. So the first two ones are the uh, first one is the online test in which it, they conducted the, their online test on Pocube's platform. In there, there, there were two questions, DSA question and nothing there. So the, the questions were based on uh, trees. And also the second question was based on uh, DP. So okay. it was a lead code medium type of questions. And another, the second online test, uh, it was a Samsung based test, means every employee should give that test. Uh, so it is, it is called Samsung Advanced SWC test. So in that, uh, there, is, there is a only single question and you have to uh, solve it in three hours. And uh, the question can be uh, medium to hard as well because they, they are giving you three hours. So um, my, in my case, uh, the question was based on graph. So uh, yes, uh, and we can use the inbuilt library as well in that to solve the question. Uh, so yeah, this was the second round and I cleared that uh, in two hours. So I got a mail that I have shortlisted for the interviews. After okay. that in interview, after a week, uh, after a week uh, my interview was scheduled. So the interviewer was a 10 year experience guy and he told me about his experience after um, that he uh, asked me questions regarding uh, computer fundamentals uh, and also uh, some uh, DBMS and OOPS questions. Uh, and then he started asking me DSA questions. So he asked me total two DSA questions that was based on, one was based on linked list and uh, the another one was based on uh, binary search. So the whole, uh, interview uh, was based on problem solving and how I can code that question and how many edge cases I cover and how properly I write the code. So yeah, this was the third round, uh, which is a technical interview. After that, uh, in a week, I got a mail that uh, I, am, I cleared that my technical round and I am shortlisted for the HR round. So uh, after uh, after week, uh, my interview of HR round is happened, and then in the HR round, it's a normal questions like uh, where, uh, why, why do you want to join Samsung, and what are the projects that you had done, and these are the questions that were in the HR round. And in a in two or three days, I got an offer from Samsung that uh, I I will be joining them as a developer. Yeah, this was the interview process of Samsung. Okay, okay, got it. Thanks for this information. Yeah. Himan, so like those are students who are preparing for Samsung interview. How should they prepare? Any tips for them? 
um yeah i i would like to give some tips uh, as as i mentioned in the interview rounds all interview and the online test was based on dsa so i think uh, you should prepare uh, dsa as uh, properly and along with that you should be know the concepts that are used in every topic that how how the concepts are working how the internal working of that data structure is going on so this will help a lot to uh, to tell the interviewer how the approach you are thinking of the question so yeah uh, dsa will be uh, important along with that uh, the, you should be good with the computer fundamentals as well what i mean by that is uh, you should be good in oops uh, you should be good in uh, dbms operating system and little bit about computer net computer networks as well because these questions can be asked in interview as well or in the online test uh, in the form of mcq as well so you should be prepared with that uh, yeah so these are the tips that i would like to give okay okay and like your interview mostly based on the problem solving computer fundamental soups concept so is there any system design round specific system design um, round no actually uh, for sd1 they don't consider any system design round but okay. uh, uh, they, they can be uh, asked uh, by combining the two or more data structures by combining can you make some another data structure that will be easy to store so these kind of questions can be asked but not the exactly the system design which uh, the which can, which are asked for sd2 so there is no system design kind it's of mostly conceptual question yeah mostly conceptual based on dsa as a as a part of sd1 process okay okay got it thanks for this information iman so is there any base resource available for preparing dsa interviews like they can prepare dsa computer fundamentals oops those concept yeah uh, i would like to mention some of the resources that i have used for preparing for product based companies so first of the first of all it's a gfg all know all everyone knows about it but it should be used properly i used for i use gfg for the theoretical concepts that i don't know i go through every concept and learn how the data structure is going through how the implementation of that data structure and also for the algorithms and the second resource that i have used is the lead code uh, the problems on the lead code are specific for the data structures and also there are good amount of uh, means quality questions on the lead code so all for all the product based companies uh, lead code is enough to you to crack the company and uh, along with that uh, i have used the strivers sd sheet uh, so that it contains 180 questions and i have solved that and it really helped me to know the concepts that are used behind the data structures and algorithms okay, okay. yeah these are the resources and for oops it's gigs for gigs is more than enough yeah on on gigs for gigs it's available and also you can uh, refer the java 2 point java t point Okay. That website is also good for resources of O. Okay. Okay. Got it. Thanks for this information. Yes. So we mentioned we know that CV is pretty much important, and in CV we mentioned the projects, internship projects, all the projects. So we mentioned. So how is that important? Can you tell us? Yeah, it is quite important to mention the projects that you have done in your college or or while working because it shows how how you you are good at problem solving, how you are good at development. So these are the basis. On this basis, they shortlist you or they think how good is the candidate. So it is quite important that you mention good projects and that project should be uh, deployed somewhere because. if if it is not deployed somewhere we can't see uh, anybody can't use that project okay. so i talking about myself so i have mentioned my internship experience that i had done in fresh gravity so i mentioned what what are what the things that i did there what are the improvements that i made by doing my work and in the personal projects uh, i mentioned uh, two projects the two projects are enough and the project my project was a extension so i basically deployed it and the users are currently using it so it got uh, 3000 plus downloads so the, uh, it shows that that my product is working and the current users are using that product so it shows that the uh, user uh, the the developer has made something cool so these are the things that should be mentioned uh, in the resume and the impact also should be mentioned uh, because that shows that how it is important for the, the uh, industry so yeah these are the and uh, tips and you should mention in the resume regarding projects Okay. Okay. Got it. Thanks for this information. Yes. Also, once again, congratulations for this Samsung offer. As you already got offer from Samsung. So, any special preparation strategy or tips you want to share with us? Uh, yeah, sure. I would like to share the strategies that I have used. 
first of all you should be good in uh, competitive programming i i would say not the I, you should do regularly but you should do it in some time because it really helps uh, to crack the online assessment round of the companies because uh, in the the uh, online assessments are of specific time and you have to solve two or three questions so in that time you have to think and you have to properly implement that problem and solve the problem so it uh, the what i have did is uh, i gave a lot of contest on codecheck on lead code so that really helped me to crack the online assessments and also the the second round of inter, uh, second round of process that that is a swc test so it helped me to crack this and the interviews uh, are um, based on medium level because th there is a specific time and in that specific time you have to solve the questions so you have to be good at the medium level questions on lead code so the these are the strategies that i have used for cracking the uh, samsung interview okay oh, perfect thanks for this information yes thanks once again himanshu coming to my youtube channel and share your experience i guess this video will be really helpful for those students who have their upcoming interview in samsung so thanks once again yeah. thank you so much uh, sudhu for inviting me as well and you are really uh, doing great work for uh, students and helping students them to know the interview process of various companies that really helped uh, me as well because i was also searching for the interview process of different companies and your channel really helped me so i would also say like and share this channel as well sure. yeah thanks once again and guys don't forget to like our channel share our channel and subscribe our channel thank you